Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with a little uh, cardboard box, Rooney here. Well, not little, it's decent size, actually, from Rob, Robert Renone. He's a viewer of the channel. I love him. He's a good man. And he sent me some stuff. He probably told me what it is. I have no idea, per usual. But we're going to find out together right now. <laughs> That's right, Rob. Shout out, Rob. Thank you, man. What is going on here? Uh, we're going to use, what are we going to use? How about a Tiffany Blue Ridgeback from uh, uh, Dead Reckon Knives? How about that? It's early. I just woke up. Forgive me. You know, but I got to get into here. I got I to gotta see what this is. We got to find out. What have you sent me, Robert? It is Robert Renan, right? Future me. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a total idiot, right? A grocery list? Oh, it's a book. It's a bunch of things. <gasps> it's a bunch of things. Oh, oh, Insider Six Knives for review. What the hell? Okay, okay. All right, everybody chill, everybody chill. Chill, chill. Uh, nothing left in there, see? Dude, I have so many knife roll things now. Oh God, how am I gonna keep this shit straight? Oh, oh God. Okay, let's bust her open. This is gonna take me ages. Wow, wow. Well, you know, let's start with that one. <laughs> Oh, God. Might as well start with that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. This is the Spyderco K2. Uh, discontinued behemoth from Spyderco. Wow. Look at the size of the lock bar on this thing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? How old is this? This came out ages ago. It's been discontinued for a while. Wow, dude. This is just, it It looks unfinished. Uh, it, there's like very little chamfering. There's like no chamfering. It's like they deburred the mach the uh, titanium after they machined it. And then that was it. It's very blocky. Very squared off. Obviously the spider hole, spidey hole, uh, lanyard hole. Two screws. Body screw, pivot screw. That's it. This funky donut standoff. Tip down only carry, but you know, it is what it is. Look where the over travel stop is. It's way, it's way down here. What a weird knife. Yeah, it's way, the zigzag lock bar cut out for some reason. A little bit of a crown spine right here. Zero jimping, no texturing anywhere, but it is immense, dude. Dude, my mustache keeps going into my nose. It's going to be the end of me. Anyway, Spyderco Pair 3, Tecton Ifka Rockwall. <laughs> oh my god. I knew this was a big knife, but not this big. Holy crap. Holy crap. Damn, boy. Let me flick it open. Oh, it's not... <laughs> okay. This literally looks like an unfinished prototype. That's so funny. Uh, wow, wow. Full flat grind. Spider Go Pair 3 size comparison. This is not a knife, dude. This is a sword. This is his sword. Hello? Wow. Uh, wow, dude. Is this real, though? It is. It's just old. Look, you can barely see the Spyderco logo. It's so faded over time. Uh, Spyderco. CPM 10V on the blade steel. No kidding. Made in Taichung, Taiwan. That's where all the best, best Spideys come from. What a bizarre thing. Uh, Ergo's in hand. Yeah, I mean, choke back. I got about a foot and a half extra space here. Sure, yeah, very easy four-finger grip. And even if you're Shaquille O'Freakin' Neal, that'll fit your hands just wonderfully right there. Uh, yeah, sure, that's the choke back. Choke up, nestle in right about here. Thumb on that thumb ramp where the nice crown spine is. Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. This is made for hands so much bigger than mine. Was Shaquille O'Neal the like the design model for this? Because this swell is in a place that my, I like. I can't even fill the handle, no matter how hard I try. Um, you can kind of choke up right about here. That feels fine. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that feels okay. Can I bench grip this absolute behemoth? No, no, it's just too thick for me. You can fifty percent of the day, but it's just too damn big. <laughs> This is too big. What a ridiculous thing. Running on washers, foster bronze washers. Oh! Ooh! 
Action's honestly good. Uh, there is no lock bar insert, so it's titanium on steel, so there is some uh, some lock stick. Dude, it's so big and awkward. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> But it works. Oh, yeah. It works just fine. I mean, it's lapsadaisical. Is that the word, to say the least? Just because it's so much blade. And the D10 isn't, like, super snappy, but it's just as good as any ti uh, titanium frame lock. Ow. That's a problem. From uh, from Spider Tail. What an obnoxious, obnoxious thing, dude. <laughs> the action's okay. It's just so big and awkward. Uh, acoustics? Makes a decent noise. Ooh. It's kind of scary, dude. I gotta be honest with you. To close it? Huh? <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to chop my finger off. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, Spyderco K2. Folding short sword from Spyderco. I get why this was discontinued, you know. Are your... Robert, how big are your hands? Can you carry this? Do you carry this? I thought the subvert was big. I think prior to this, the subvert was probably the biggest Spyderco I'd ever handled. This is by far and away the biggest. I don't know if they've ever made a bigger knife than this. Lockup is sitting at about 85, 90%. But it is solid. It is solid. Wow. That's something else. I gotta cut something with it. Um, Got the old AARP catalog here still. Get off my back. Will it cut? It sure will. <laughs> sure shit, dude. Damn. CPM 10V. I would love to do a long-term review on Spyderco's 10V. I don't... Have they ever used it since this? 10 is a great hard-use steel. Um, I've had it from Kaiser, but the heat tree was really soft. I would love to long-term... Not this knife in particular, but I'd like to see them use 10V on something else. Probably something similar to 15V. And I have 15V and I love 15V. Uh, yeah, that's the K2 from Spyderco. It is obscene, obnoxious, and outrageous in every single way. But in the same sentence, in the same breath, it's so simple. Like, knives do not get any more simple than this. Big, giant, full flat ground blade, super simple clip, held on by one screw, literally two screws holding the whole sandwich thing together. A little donut back here, and that's it. No internal milling, no nothing. Like, this is as bare bones and simple as a frame lock gets. It's kind of endearing for that. Well, there you go. I, I would link it down below, but it's long discontinued, so check Blade Binge and secondary websites, see if you can buy one used. Future Me, how much was this when it was new? A lot. I'm assuming that's a lot of knife. Um, and have they used 10V since this, Future Me? I don't know. But that is it. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe down below. Become a channel member. Be a channel member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. That is it. I gotta get ready for a live stream. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.